Rex Super Home, the new Oculus Quest accessories manufacturer you probably haven't even heard of yet. X Super Home has reached out to us and offered us some samples of their upcoming products. They are now currently on Amazon after these have been sent to me, but we're gonna be checking both of these out today. We've got a new set of Oculus Quest 2 grips and a cover for the entire Quest 2. Covers the front with silicone to protect it, covers the face pad to protect it. It comes with all of it. Let's check all these out. To be joyful, oculuskits.com. So first right here, we've got silicone grips, pretty standard. You can get these from different companies, but what's nice about these is these also come with these straps. These look like a, like an old school watch you'd actually wear on your wrist. These are gonna turn these into index style grips on your hands, and you're still gonna have wrist straps as well to help keep these on so that you can slip them off your hands. Not bad wrist straps, not amazing, but I mean, they'll work. Some people, if you're gonna have the index grips, you're not even gonna use them. So we'll hook those up here in a minute. Let's look at the other stuff we got here too. We've got the lens covers. <laughs> those just, this just pops in there. You know me, I don't usually use these things, but if you're someone who takes your Quest places a lot, this might actually be a nicer one than most of them. Cause this one looks like there's no way it's gonna activate your headset. It's only got this thin little thing. My question would be how well is this gonna stay on there? Like, is this gonna shake off? We'll test it. This cover is gonna cover the entire outside, give you some protection from drops, impacts, whatever it may happen to it. Hopefully it looks like this will actually stay on unlike the PSVR one I looked at before, cause this will actually go around the sides and hold on to them. I wish this was red since everything else is red, but maybe it would look too red. So maybe it's nice that it's black, we'll find out. Face pad cover. This is kind of nice because it's gonna cover it, keep the sweat off, but it also adds a little bit of a nose guard here. A nose guard that you might find distracting depending on how sensitive your nose is. Let me grab my Quest 2, we'll check all this out on it. I have an aftermarket face pad on here, so I'm gonna try and see if this works on it. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to go grab my other one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run back and grab my stock face pad, so I will do that real quick for this part. This part is gonna be a little complex because I have an aftermarket head strap on here. One black silicone cover that's gonna completely cover the face. It leaves room for the cameras, but I will say it's not as tight as I would like it to be. So like if I go like this, it kind of wrinkles up a little bit, which makes me worry as you're playing, these could get out here a little ways and it could possibly impede your cameras a little bit. What would have been nice in the design is if this had come all the way back to that and that would kind of hold it tight. But with this all willy nilly here, I mean, theoretically, this could get out this far from the front of it while you're in the middle of playing and not noticing that that's hanging off. These side ones, those are totally covered right now. Honestly, I'm gonna call it on the face cover. This isn't gonna work. I'm not gonna use it. I wouldn't recommend anyone use it. That's just not gonna work. No good. Another important thing that you wanna note here about your Oculus Quest 2 that you may not be aware of and another reason that I would never recommend this face shield is that the Oculus Quest 2 actually has vents on the front of it. Some vents are at the top here above the two sensors and then at the bottom. So this blows air through to help keep the entire thing cool. This one you're now seeing on the screen here, this is another Amazon cover you can get that's all silicone. And even here you can see the holes on this cover that should have been on the cover we're reviewing today that actually has holes for the vents. So another reason that I do not recommend this cover. This lens cover they gave us, let's try this out. So this just slips over them left and right. That actually is a pretty good fit. If you wanted a lens cover, this is the best one I've seen yet because it doesn't rely on the face pad holding it in place. It stays on each cup. It's not gonna activate your headset. That is the best lens cover I've seen. I don't use them, but if you do, hey, hang out. I'm gonna give that away. And let's try these things out. <laughs> Weird, it even comes with some little uh, gummy, tips to put over your analog sticks here. I see some gamers that are really big on these. I don't know if they do this for just the custom look or if they actually, it helps them hang on to it if their hands get sweaty or something. But I see them a lot on Instagram on like people's PS4, PS5 controllers, they put these on there. That actually does feel nice on the tip there. It feels like it's not gonna wiggle around on you as much. So I kind of like that. Let me, let me compare it. Actually, I really like that. It definitely just holds way better on your finger. You feel like that isn't gonna run off. So that's a nifty little detail. 
Now, like most silicone grips, that fits perfectly around it. It gives you extra grip. It's gonna be nice if you're sweating. My main problem with these is if you're changing batteries all the time, these are gonna be a nuisance. You're gonna to have to take them off every time you change batteries. Although the Quest 2 is way better than the Quest 1. My original batteries lasted months, so I wouldn't be as worried about these as I was with the Quest 1. These are nice. They feel good in hand. I can't use them because I have an anchor charging dock this needs to sit in and these will not fit in there. Now, here's an interesting question. How in the heck does this attach? Because they did not send me any sort of instructions. It does have an L and an R on it for left and right, so that's nice. So right now I'm messing with my right controller. Looks like this just slips in the old spot pretty easily. It's all silicone, so it just fits right in there. It's kind of like a wristwatch. It's probably gonna be easier if you at least click it in the first time without having the controller on your hand. And then after you have that in, you can tighten it down. It's a little tricky to pull on it. It's, you almost need two hands to do it. To be honest, that is my favorite part of all this. This index style grip right here, the way it hangs on, obviously you'll have the skin on here too if you want to. But like this right here, just for these straps, I could actually still put this in my anchor charging dock with these on and it would work. That's awesome. And then last, it does come with these little wrist straps. To put these on, you're gonna feed these through this little silicone hole as far as they'll go. And then you're gonna run these back through that loop. I have this wrist strap, so I don't have to worry about dropping it. I have this nice gummy silicone index style controller strap to hold my hand in here. So if I throw something in game, I can let go. That is actually what makes this kit in my mind worth it. The skin, fine. You can live with it, you can live without it. It's nice if your hands sweat. But for me, like I said, the anchor charging dock, I can't use it. But like this, boom, ooh, I like that. Let's talk about price, 20 bucks gets you the controller skin, the little dot for your, for your joystick, gummy strap, and this. So that gets you the full set for the controllers for 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for that. $30 gets you the inner one, the face pad cover thing I threw across the room and then the lens covers. That in my mind isn't worth 30 bucks. The lens cover is really the only part of it I like. This, I gotta grab my stock face pad, so I'll be back. There, we'll grab that to demonstrate this. Yeah. Stock face pad. Like other silicone pads, you just work that around on there. It does actually fit real nice. The nose parts aren't really staying down. They're kind of they're kind of pliable. If you're a fan of how silicone feels on your face, then this feels great. For me, I don't love silicone because it's a little slippery, but the face pad feels really good. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't love that it kind of slips around on my face. Blocks a little bit of the light bleed, but not all of it with the nose pad. So that's not bad. 30 bucks though for this, this, and this. I'm gonna call that not worth it. Mostly because of my main concern, this just isn't gonna stay on like you want it to. The control grips, I recommend. The other kit, I don't. <laughs> All right, nothing else, you get some looks from other Quest owners about what you did to your Quest. <laughs> I'm sad too about the silicone because I feel like if they made it fit really well, this actually would have been nice, but it's just gonna, it's gonna run off on you is what I'm afraid. You're gonna grab it like this and it's gonna get loose and it's gonna scoot forward and it's gonna hang off the tip. It's getting late, I can't think. X Super Home, check them out on Amazon if you're interested in their controller grips. I'll put these together fully real quick so you can just get a look at what they would actually look like all done. It's a lot of color if you wanna add color to your Quest. And that is the full feeling of silicone wrapping around your hand, under your thumb, on the controller. It does feel nice.
I don't believe it could get any more FrankenQuest than that. That is, that looks like an absolute hack job of a quest right there. I'm liking these grips more and more the more I feel them though. But that thing looks crazy. What do you think? Do you have any sort of grips on your controllers? Do you think they need them? Do you like the index style grips that you can hold them and not worry about dropping them like this? Do you think the Quest 2 needs any sort of cover on it like this that helps you protect it from scratches, bumps, dings, drops, punches? Do you use a lens cover? Do you think that this is necessary? I think this is definitely the best lens cover I've seen out of all of it. I'd love to know in the comments section. I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel and a Fissy King Sloth, our current channel members, our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nepotebo, Ege Karatash, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel. Oh.